we have seen how our immune system is constantly working to keep us healthy even a minute deviation from its normal function leads to diseases and disorders so imagine what if a baby is born without a functional immune system yes this condition is called severe combined immunodeficiency syndrome that is skid it is a rare genetic disorder characterized by defective immune cells caused by numerous genetic mutations skid victims will have little or no immune response and they are extremely vulnerable to infectious diseases even mild infections such as common cold are life threatening in these people can you imagine what happens if you are locked alone inside a room without external contact with the outside world how long you can stay few hours few days of course some have stayed for some 15 to 20 days during their quarantine but to be frank we cannot stay alone even if we are provided with all the requirements such as food water and even the internet here is the story of david philip wetter who lived his entire life inside a sterile bubble due to skid syndrome david was born in 1971 at the texas children's hospital in houston his parents already had a son who died from skid syndrome when he was 7 months old when david's mother was pregnant for another child doctors told them that there was a 50-50 chance that another son would be born with the same disease so his parents were ready with a sterile plastic isolator bubble before david's birth after 20 seconds of exposure to the outside world he was placed in that bubble where he spent the rest of his life in his entire life he was exposed to the outside world only for these 20 seconds everything that has to enter this bubble such as food water clothing and toys was sterilized before placing inside the bubble to avoid infection the boy studied played and shared his love and affection with his family everything in this bubble so david butter was popular as the bubble boy or the boy in the bubble in 1977 Researchers from NASA designed a special suit that would allow him to get out of his bubble and walk in the outside world. So David took his first steps outside of the isolated bubble at the age of 6. Although the process of wearing this suit was complicated, it was worth it for both David and his mother who was able to hold her son in her arms for the first time that too after 6 years of his birth. With this suit he could walk and play outside without the risk of contamination in 1984 when david was 12 years old he received a bone marrow transplant from his sister catherine unfortunately after 4 months of bone marrow transplantation david died from a type of cancer called lymphoma that was the first and last time david's mother touched david without gloves in her hands An autopsy revealed that Catherine's transplanted bone marrow contained traces of a virus called Epstein-Barr virus which was not detected by pre-transplant screening at the time of transplantation. Later it was revealed that the virus which was hidden in Catherine's bone marrow was responsible for David's lymphoma. This is probably one of the most unfortunate stories that will come across in the field of medicine. but david's case served as a milestone for skid syndrome after david's case there have been developments in gene therapy hemopoietic stem cell transplantation and enzyme replacement therapy for skid syndrome and partly because of the work done by physicians treating david more than 90% of infants diagnosed with skid syndrome are now successfully treated with bone marrow transplantation David's legacy also led to the establishment of David Center and the David Clinic at Texas Children's Hospital which encourages research on immunodeficiency and related disorders. So we all are lucky. We don't have any inborn defects. Let us be grateful to the god or to the nature or to the ultimate power that has created our beautiful system without any defects.